Hey guys, it's Coach Steve, and I've got this week's workout brief. Coming in on Monday, we're going to start off doing some breath work and practicing good quality breathing to prep us for a cardiovascular workout. What we're going to do is we're going to practice uh, some breathing that uh, was is introduced and used by Wim Hof, who's also known as the Iceman, and go through a couple of rounds of Wim Hof breathing. After that, we're going to go in and we're going to test our 1,000 meter row max effort. This should be full effort, full on everything you can do for 1,000 meters, looking at um, under five minutes for this, scale the number as needed um, to be under 500 or five minutes. Once we're done with that, we're going to settle into four rounds of 500 meters and we're just going to go slightly faster just a second or two per per 500 faster than our thousand meter pace and we're going to rest and soak in on that 90 seconds between between efforts or so if we have to share uh equipment that'll throw that in it could be a work rest same the same amount of time just you're resting while somebody else is rowing um the goal is just to settle into what you know as your pace um and don't go to a place where you're measuring in this case but Go to a place where you're just trying to get used to pacing slightly faster than what a thousand meters would be for you. On Tuesday, as simple a workout as there is 400 meters of walking lunges. This one is just going to be leg pump for 12 to 15 minutes. That's all this is 15 minutes will be the cap doing lunges this will pump the legs and start to tax mentally the mental strength on this is the part that will probably break down before anything else doing repeated movements for a long period of time means you're probably going to mentally check out and you need to be engaged at least a little bit to continue to do lunges well and safely but also because it's really easy to just tap out. It just grates on you. So keep that in mind, mental toughness on this workout Tuesday. After we're done, we're gonna go for a shoulder pump. Legs are already pumped, might as well hit the shoulders. Gonna take a white light weight plate and just do front raises, kind of taking it from waist level to eye level, just continuing to move that fairly quickly, not looking for big control, lightweight, burn the shoulders, large sets. I'm thinking 20 to 30 reps at a time and get through this. This is for good quality. Once you stop maintaining good quality, you start moving that body, trying to move the weight, time to take a little rest and then hit it again in a minute. On Wednesday, we're gonna start off playing with some overhead squats. Skill first for this session. Um, weight is not super important, but if you're so inclined and you overhead squat really well, build to a five rep, moderately heavy weight. After that, we're going into a workout four time, 100 reps of pull-ups, full range of motion, kettlebell swings, 100 double unders, 100 overhead squats. The goal here is 24 to 30 minutes. You can partition this however you need. You don't have to go straight through this. You can do 10, 10 rounds of 10 for each one of these dudes. And that's it, just moving for the entire time. On Thursday, gonna go right into getting ready for this workout, three rounds, 500 meter row, 400 for the ladies, 21 push ups, and 12 strict ring, toes to rings. Um, really pushing on maintaining that solid core, which is going to cause the other two movements to start to struggle a little bit. Um, and really just kind of go into a place where this is just going to be a push, not, not anything crazy. It's, a, it's a, going to be a breathe and burn. The, the shoulders are going to burn from the push-ups. The abs are going to burn from, from the toes to rings. And the breathing is going to burn from the row and competing those three things, pacing them so that you can maintain and move through this 
in that 11 to 13 minute time range. Um, once we're done with that, we're gonna do some just very quality core activation work, do GHD sit-ups or sit-ups of any variation, and then get into holding the plank or handstand, which is gonna use the muscles that you just fatigued. Um, this is for quality more than anything else. So obviously if the GHD sit-ups or the sit-ups break down, break them up. And if the handstand breaks down, shorten the time period, do what you can do, do it well. So nothing for time on the cash out here, just all quality. On Friday, we're gonna start off with some single leg Romanian deadlift, eight reps each side. This is using a bar to, to do this. Um, just looking for good quality controlled hip hinge with single leg. This The goal of the single leg stuff is to make sure each uh, leg, each side of the body is able to produce the power that you need and you don't have any deficiencies left to right. Um, in this one, we're going to rest about one minute between each set and each side. Um, this should not be just the most devastating weight in the world. You're most likely going to be cheating or not doing quality reps if this is a completely devastating weight. Um, but just moving good quality single leg Romanian deadlifts. Um, trying to keep those hips nice and level. After that, we're going into a hero wide Rahoy 12 minute AMRAP, 12 box jumps, six thrusters, six bar facing burpees. And this is just, this is going to be pretty quick. You want you moving at a pretty decent pace here. The reps are pretty low. So you're able to push through each movement. Keep in mind, breathing will be a very big factor on this. It is only 12 minutes though. Um, so trying to push towards that six rounds for this, that's around every two minutes, trying to maintain that power output for 12 minutes. On Saturday, we're going strict bro sesh here. This is gonna be bench press, three sets of five, going as heavy as you can for all five, five reps. Um, doing it three times, recording that, how, how much you were able to do for your max five and total load, doing the same thing for front squats and then repeating that for sumo deadlift. We don't do sumo deadlifts a whole lot. Um, it is a very good movement to get really good at. It allows you to get a lot stronger in some muscles that you probably don't use super often, at least not in the workouts that we do often. So keep in mind, that's a little bit new of a variation for some of you. It will be a little bit different. It will not compare to your conventional deadlifts, which we might normally see. Um, and we're gonna spend about 15 minutes in each one of these movements. So just kind of realize we're gonna have to get warmed up and push through these pretty quickly um, to get through all of this work. So it's gonna move quick. Um, be prepared for it. We're going to go hard. We're going to go fast and we'll rotate through people, start people in different places if we need to, to accommodate larger groups of people on Saturday. That's what we have coming up this week. Look forward to seeing you guys in the gym. Bye.